Uh, today we are going to talk about one more Avinicio interview question, uh, maybe scenario based questions, right? So for example, we have a data kind of this one, okay? Um, like employee number and uh, product, right? So this is the data wherein, uh, you know, office or any particular institution maintains the uh, maintains the data which are, uh, you know, uh, like uh, the office uh, 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 things, right? Like car, laptop or headphone or anything, any product which are as a support, uh, you know, they assign to a particular employee, right? And then uh, they maintain these kind of record, right? So for example, for E01, they have a, you know, car leased by office, right? Le leased to the employee, okay? And uh, the laptop is also assigned, maybe the desktop or maybe the other different, uh, you know, uh, products they can assign to a, or they can give to employee to support their work, okay? So, so this is the kind of data we have and what we want as a report is like uh, we will have employee number for a particular employee, let's say we will have in some indicator, right? Car indicator, laptop indicator or maybe uh, the number of products, uh, the fields will be like indicator field will have a num as many of number of products they might assign or particular to a different employees, right? So let's say for uh, this instance, I have taken two products, car and laptop, and uh, I have taken three records, let's say. So, uh, and uh, this uh, E01 output is like car indicator one, laptop indicator one, E02 car indicator one, but laptop indicator is zero because laptop is not assigned to E02. So this kind of report could be asked to create, right, in kind of scenario, right? So here I have taken three employees, only three employees and two uh, products. But in the real kind of scenario, there could be a multiple employees, right? And uh, also there will, these can, records would be in a different order also, right? Like I have a kind of sorted record on based on employee. It may not be sorted, right? So you may try to sort it first and then try to produce this kind of report. So, uh, so let's try to solve this. So first of all, what we have, uh, we have uh, by looking at the data, we can see that we have to create a single record for a particular key group. Like here we have employee number as key, right? So uh, the thing that comes in mind is kind of roll up we need to use, right? So that we can uh, pass through uh, all this input data and produce this. And there could be some manipulation with respect to car indicator and laptop indicator based on this product field for a particular group, right? And then we can produce the, this kind of output, uh, you know, DML output report. So for this to solve, I have taken like, um, uh, so let's try to use the extended rollup. We may use the simple rollup also, but let's try it in the, this time we can use the extended rollup so try to uh, create a uh, num couple of fields, car indicator and laptop indicator so that we can manipulate these values based on the value of the uh, field called product, right? And the assignment of these and then roll up. So roll up is the main function. Let me zoom out. So for here, like uh, to assign the car indicator and laptop indicator, for example, if it is a product is car, then, or if car indicator is already assigned, then we will have to assign the car indicator as one. Otherwise, we have to assign as existing car indicator, which is for the first record, it is going to be always null. Similarly, for the laptop indicator, if it is a laptop, product is laptop, or we have already assigned the laptop indicator as one, then we need to use one else we need to use the laptop indicator okay which is already there in the temporary record okay so uh, by this way you can produce this kind of indicator right um, after processing a key group we can have core indicator and laptop indicator assigned okay if it is there then one else else zero and then the finalize what we can do is like uh, 
output name is going to be employee number and car indicator if it is defined then the value of this otherwise zero if it is defined then value is laptop indicator otherwise zero okay if sometimes uh, we don't have a particular uh, you know product assigned to a particular employee in that kind of scenario we will get these null right so in that scenario we will have output as zero like we have a here for employee number zero two because there is a null laptop so we have assigned zero similarly if you pass this record uh, through this uh, roll up and uh, all those things you will have the particular report this kind of report you will have okay so for let's uh, assume uh, let's uh, pass through this uh, record one by one from this uh, roll up okay so let me assign the car indicator for the uh, for the e01 group if all the records are sorted based on employee number is okay otherwise i will sort it right or you, you can use the in memory uh, roll up otherwise right so let's say we have sorted data and then i am passing through car indicator because product is car okay this condition is satisfied for record number 1 for e01 so i assigned the car indicator as 1 and uh, laptop indicator for the first record because there is no product is not laptop so my this one is going to be assigned this is already null because we have assigned null here right so we have a, after passing the first record for a e01 i have car indicator assigned as one laptop indicator has null as of now for the second record while processing the this record okay product is not car okay tap door car indicator is one already there is an indicator one assigned so my car indicator is one okay this condition is satisfied for laptop indicator so because product is laptop for the second record therefore the laptop indicator is one okay so my two pro record has been processed for e01 so what will happen is it will go to the finalize it will assign the name as field value i mean the employee number car indicator because i have assigned car indicator one so it is going to be car indicator one temp laptop indicator 1 so laptop indicator 1 okay so this is output for the e01 now let's talk about e02 because we have only one record so it, because product is car for first record so car indicator is 1 it will not go to the else part laptop indicator it indicator because lap, it's not laptop so it is going to the else condition laptop indicator is null for uh, because we have assigned initialize null so it is going to be null so because we don't have any more record for e02 therefore it is going to the finalize so for name field value employee number 1 car indicator because we have assigned car indicator 1 so therefore car indicator is going to be 1 laptop indicator because temp of laptop indicator is null so it is going to be in the first defined second argument zero so e02 processing has been done okay so likewise uh, we can uh, uh, you know we can create the graph you know input data then roll up and then output so this is simple graph okay thank you so much